today I'm Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina and today I am going to share with you my Luxy haul. Um, they are an indie eyeshadow company, well makeup company. Um, they do eyeshadows and highlighters. Um, they have very reasonable pricing. So, these three highlighters are from there. These were on sale for $3.50. Normally, I think they're five. They are three and a half gram tin. They're the bigger size tin. So, this one is called Ever After. And it has like a pink shift to it. It's really pretty. So, I'm going to do swatches and then I'm also going to go outside so you guys can hopefully see a little bit better. And then we have Luna, which is blue. It's got a really pretty blue shift to it. And then the last highlighter that I ordered is Stripped, and it's got a pink shift to it. I don't know if the camera will quite pick it up or not. Maybe a little bit. Let me deep on that one. They are just gorgeous. I have the blue and on right now. It's one of my favorites. That one and the Crips Bug one I have. The ones you can wear a lot. So those I paid three fifty a piece for. It's a really good deal for such amazing, amazing looking highlighters. Now they do have a couple shades that are a little bit more expensive. These two were twelve dollars a piece. They had a sale going, but these ones weren't on sale. So we have Never Lost, which is showing up really blue for you, but it's purple for me, and it shines a green, but for you it's showing up blue. Crazy how that works. And this one I have on right here. It's hard to see, though. Hopefully when I go outside, you can see it better. Look at that. Once again, I see purple, like a reddish purple, and you, and some green, and you see blue. Hopefully when I go outside, you guys can see more of the colors that I see. And then Day Trippin' is the other one that I paid 12 for. And see, you see purple, and I see red and orange. Crazy. These are like super soft. Like, amazing feeling. See, you see purple, I still see red. But look at the colors on those. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to go outside and get some clips of these in the sunlight real quick. Be right back. Alright, so now we're going to go on to purples. These ones were all $2.50 a piece. They were on sale. They're normally 5 I think. No, they're normally 3 And they were on sale for $2.50 a piece um, during their sale. So we have this one. This is called Vixen. I'm showing up very blue for you, but it's purple for me. Super pretty. 
And then next we have Hocus Pocus. Wow, this has a really light for you. This has a kind of like purple and green for me, but it looks like super lavender for you guys. That one's actually, they are actually picking up a lot of their, do their, their, um, shiftiness. That's amazing. And then up next we have Pink Lady, which looks very light purple with blue shift in the pan. This one's a little chunky. Or flaky, I don't know what you want to call it. And I'll, take, I'll go outside with these ones too. And then we have Figgy. This one's like got a gray tone with a purple shift. Really, really pretty. And then we have high roller it looks looks pretty blue for you but it's dark purple in person and then November rain which looks more purple for me than blue, like it shows it on the camera. So that one you can see like the purple to brown looking change. And then we have Phantom. This one's really pretty. Can I show this one on? This one is Duper Star. <laughs> Right here. It's a lighter shade. Super pretty though. Sorry, I'm trying to clean off my fingers. So I don't start mixing colors. And this one is called Once Upon a Time. Super shiny. And then we have Twilight. And then Oob, which this one looks like looks super pale on the camera, but it's still a lot but it's got more color to it in person. Still a light purple though. More light purplish pink. But look at that. It's not a very green, but it's pink. I'll put it up a little bit better outside. This one is called Minion. And then we have Spyro.
forever is a little chunky on the glitter. And then we have Zodiac, which looks a little more red in person. Alright, I gotta redo that one. My finger was still wet. I think that one's really weird. Turn this one right up here. I don't know if this other shade goes on. It's just clumping on my finger. And it's one on gorgeous, though. And then I will take you guys outside and show you these. We still have two more palettes to go because I went a little crazy. All right, let's go outside and see how these look in the sun chan. Alright, so now we'll do the more like blue shades. And I'm probably just gonna do like six or seven at a time because it gets really hard to do the slot the showing outside. So once again these were two fifty on sale, normally three dollars, which is still a really good price. A donut, which is a really pretty blue purpley color. And then we have Next to You, which is a purpley blue. Some of these are a little purple. They're a little hard to sort out because they're, you know, more than one color at a time. Blue Jay. This one may not actually be Duo Chrome. I think I just got this one because I love the color. Ooh. That was weird. Go into the thing. There we go. I mean, look at that. And we have this really light blue with like a pink shift to it. Screwball. Really pretty color. Some of these are shades that you do need to put over something or because you know they're kind of um I don't know they got like a clear base or whatever a light base but then some of them are like that it just I don't think I said what that one was. Dark Waters is what that one is called. And then this one is called Starry Night. And then we'll do one more before we go outside. This one, you can see, I kind of stuck my nail in there when I got them. This one is called Santa Monica. Gorgeous. I mean, this shade is 
it's like this really pretty green blue with like a blue purple shift I don't know how to describe it it's a little flaky though or chunky whatever you want to call it but so pretty all right we will go outside real quick to show these All right, on to the next set of six. So we have jelly. Super pretty. It's like a purple, but like shifts different purples. Well, let's try out my arm dry. There we go, much better. My arm is still wet right here. And then up next we have Under Dusty. I think it's actually spelled that way. I don't know if you can see it. D-A instead of the really pretty color. This one's like blue and green. So pretty. Alpha. And then we have Huff and Puff, which is showing up blue for you, but it's more purple. Like the shine is purple for me. And then we have Atlantis. Yeah. And then Shallow. Look at that shine, oh my god. Just amazing. So that's the second palette down. We'll go outside and get some views. Right, now we're on to the last set. These are kind of my mixed match, didn't have room in the other ones or whatever. <laughs> so we're going to start with this really pretty one. This is Dark Side of the Moon. It's showing up really like, I don't know, gray based for you, but I see orange. There's a lot of orange spark to this one. Super pretty. And then we have 
Tesla, which is a pink. It's like a bubblegum pink. Super pretty color. And then we have Ditto. It's bright green. It's got like a pink shift to it. Shimmer to it, whatever you want to call it. Let's put it on top of that pink. So pretty. And then we have Omega. Which you're seeing a lot of green, but I see a lot of purple. Sorry, I gotta clean off my fingers. This should just sticking a lot more on my finger. Look at that shine. Oh my god. That one really throws a green shift. And then we have a social butterfly. Super pretty. I just used this in the pumpkin look. Or the cornucopia look. Yeah. And then one night stand. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my favorites. I did I use this in the Beetlejuice look. I know I used it more than that, but that one I know for sure I used this color. It's like blue and green and this is called Dragon Slayer. Don't know if I said that part. And this one's one of the flakier ones, so it kind of needs, like, foily chunks in it. But once you really get it down, look at that. And now, I've used these, and I have, I have some NYX glue, glitter glue, but I haven't used it yet. I haven't found a need to. I've just been putting these over regular eyeshadow. You know, I put on my primer, and then my eyeshadow, and then I put these on top. And it's worked out beautiful. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Sour lemon. So I will show you these in the mirror. And I am sorry, my mirror is really dusty. I should have said that earlier. Right on to the last set of these shadows. So this one is called The Rose. Super like bright pink fuchsia color. And then we have Willow. And we have Phone Home. This one's more brown for me, like a creamy brown color. Oops. 
And then a Siren of the Sea. And we have Wicked Witch, which is actually purple and green. I'm using some blue in there. This one's more of a copper shade, I think. I have so much glitter around me. Oh, like shimmer. Like that's all shimmer. <laughs> Up next we have Cherry Bomb. And this one's like super soft. And then the last one is Solstice. Solstice. I mean, look at that shine. Holy crap. I'm not All right, so hopefully showing the swatches in the mirror and outside in the sun and then in here with just my dust lamp on. Hopefully that really gives you guys an idea of these, these um, pigments. I think they're amazing. Now, I don't have no, like, Cleona or any of the really expensive ones. Um, I like these because I'm able to get a lot more for my buck and really get to play with a lot of different ones without having to spend a whole lot. I think these are amazing. I'm absolutely in love and impressed and I can't wait till I can get more. It's probably going to be a little while, but I'm definitely keeping an eye on what they have. And I will link their Instagram and their website in the description box so go check that out there won't be affiliate links or anything like that just you know their website um i will yeah i'll just link their website because they have so many shades and i bought so many i can't link all of them and you can go through there and find all sorts of stuff um last i knew they still had a sale going on but they may have already um taken that off but i'm sure with black friday right around the corner they'll probably do another sale for that um, but even at $3, that's amazing. They do have some shades that are a little bit more, like I said. I got two out of that collection to try. And I love these ones too. But their $3 ones are absolutely beautiful as well. So, if you can't afford the $12 ones, you're not missing, you're not like, it's not like you can't get the $3 ones that are uh, absolutely gorgeous. So, and then their highlighters. I like their highlighters. They have a collection of highlighters. Um, so, this one, this one, and this little bitty one are not from them. But this one, and this one, and this one are. And these are gorgeous. I have been using them non-stop. In fact, the only highlighters I've really used are these three and my Corpse Bride one. Because it's kind of, it's that shifty kind too. It's got that shifty mist to it. 
like a blue shift yeah so those are what I've been pretty much sticking with and a lot of my looks I've been adding the you know the shadows onto for a pop of gorgeousness so let me know what you think let me know if you can actually like see some of the shiftiness because I'm not for sure if I'm doing a good job at this or not I mean I have no idea I could be completely failing <laughs> But I'm trying. I'm really trying. So, thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so very, very much. Um, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.